when most people look at the history of the United States, they are not aware to what degree rapid economic growth was involved in its founding and how that was done at the expense of other peoples, enslavement of blacks, extermination of Native Americans, and how that was done at the expense of our humanity and at the expense of the earth, and the expense of other living things. And we've come to the point where that reality threatens the existence of all living things on, on this planet. So the next American Revolution cannot be like other revolutions, an effort to grow further. If there's going to be a development toward modernity, it's going to take another path. And that's what makes the next American Revolution so exciting. Well, that's what makes the experience of Detroit so interesting because we did our rapid industrialization. But also that comes to an end. The very fragile structures, the tenuous structures that have been created by corporate entities, structures by which we feed and clothe ourselves, uh, by which we maintain our consumer society, are terminal. And the sooner you begin to confront that fact and adjust to it, the happier you will be. And when the outer appearances of the society begin crumbling, there's the opportunity also for the mind to begin thinking differently. You see abandoned houses and you see vacant land. Then you, you have to look, how do you look at that vacant land? Do you look at that as a place to build some more high rises? Or you say, that vacant land, it's calling on us. It's inviting us to create something new, to grow food, to create another way of thinking, to make a cultural revolution.